Local for Sports with Sports Director Mason Kern. Nebraska. Yeah. It's been a decade in the making, but Nebraska ball is going dancing once again. The Huskers are an at-large bid in March Madness, making their first appearance since 2014. Nebraska gets the eight seed in the South region where they'll play their first round game against the nine seed. And what are the odds they draw Texas A&M? The NCAA selection committee clearly loves storylines and knows Nebraska just lost its athletic director, Trev Alberts, to the Aggies. Here's how the team reacted once they saw the draw. The nine seed here, Texas A. <laughs> It's clear there's lots of emotion behind this game, but the program makes it clear today they're ready to take it to whoever is on the other side of the ball. I know for the fans that will this will need a little bit extra, but yeah, like I said, we're not playing athletic director, we're playing playing the team, we're playing those guys, and that's what we'll be focused on. We're just trying to uh, approach this as you know, just another matchup, and you know we got to take care of business. It, it is do or die, and so um, you know everyone's going to be excited, and everyone's going to be. You know, ready to go for these um, for these next few days leading up to A uh, and M. We got a lot of uh, you know tough times ahead of us now to get ready for this game, but you know it's it was a good day. Here's a look at the Huskers' draw in the south region of the bracket for the first and second round of the tournament. If they beat the Aggies, Nebraska will get the winner of one seed Houston and 16 seed Longwood. The Nebraska women find out their fate after the men. The Huskers are an at-large bid in their own right and draw the sixth seed in the national tournament. They'll make the trip to Corvallis, Oregon to start their national title journey. The players dancing and clearly elated with their selection, but PBA erupts again when they see their draw. Just like the men, Nebraska against Texas A&M in the first round. The Aggies are an 11 seed in the women's tournament. I don't have a reaction other than can you get all of Texas A&M's film loaded on my computer in the next 30 minutes and um, to be honest with you at this point um, you know we just feel like you know who's the opponent and let's start our preparation let's start getting ourselves ready to play and and for us there's not much of a reaction to to it other than that. If the Huskers beat the Aggies in round one, they'll advance on to play the winner of three-seed Oregon State and 14-seed Eastern Washington. The